Well, from thin green literary stuff, let's go to thin. the other thin, <laughs> which is a real school this time. This is St. Fimber's College. And uh, what is happening is that they're having a memorial lecture in honor of their founder, the very Reverend Father D.J. Slattery. I'm sure most Catholics have heard about him because that was a very famous name when I was in Holy Child College, which is also a Catholic school. Father Slattery was a name that was known in those circles. So, um, it is reputed that St. Fimbers College was the first secondary school in Nigeria to offer technical education curriculum. The school is also famous for its proud sporting legacy that produced a galaxy of sporting heroes, the likes of Stephen Keshi, Henry Mwosu, and Samson Siasia. Wow. Huh. Those are very famous names in football. Mm -hmm. And these people over the decades have made Nigeria proud in football, of course. Indeed, Reverend Father Slattery was the pioneer chairman of the Nigerian Football Association. Oh, well, that explains it then, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he was also regarded as one of the frontline nationalists who vigorously advocated for the independence of Nigeria from British colonial rule. Well, to tell us all about this event, we have the president of St. Fimbers College Old Boys Association, my own brother, Patrick Doyle, Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. And we also have the chairman of the PTA, uh, Mr. Dominic Malagu. Good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning, thank you viewers. For, for himself job. an thank old you. boy. Himself an old boy, of course. He I has to be. He's, he's wearing a blazer. <laughs> has to be. <laughs> ah, ah. He couldn't borrow it just to come and show. Uh, so, um, this big event coming up, what are we expecting? Well, the, as you, in your introduction of Father Slattery, you spoke about the fact that he was a nationalist. And indeed he was, because on more than one occasion while he was advocating for Nigeria's independence as a very dear friend of Dr. Namdi Azikiwe and all the other nationalists, he was detained. And attempts were made to deport him even back then. So his credentials as a Nigerian and a Nigerian nationalist are uh, intimidating, to say the least. And uh, we just feel that when we, we in our in our um, national anthem, we talk about uh, the labors of our heroes past. Mm. I would like to let it be known that when we are listing our heroes past as Nigerians, Reverend Father Dennis Joseph Slattery should be uh, counted amongst those heroes past in Nigeria, and we think his legacy in Nigeria, his footprints in politics, his footprints in uh, education and in sports stand him out as a special type of past hero of Nigeria. It's so, interesting that um, a white man would be advocating for the independence of a black nation. That's very easy. He was an Irish man, and the Irish people fought a bitter war they of independence with the, with the British. <laughs> and he came to meet, he came to a British colony, so he carried his animus <laughs> of Irish independence So when, 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 when you say he's a Nigerian, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, very much interested in his state of origin. But let me talk to you, <laughs> 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 you know, Lagos no. State. <laughs> if, you, if you must know, you know what in the Yoruba was for Tedu, the first place he settled, yeah. Ilawa Huh? So he's from the. That was his first his first port of call in Nigeria. His but his plane didn't Kitty. land. He in was in, in. He came in 1941. On the and boat. His first, he went straight to Ilawe Kitty to start his missionary so work. That is his. Uh, that is his state, state of, of origin, origin. Kitty. Governor. Well. That, that governor. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, uh, now. Well, Mr. Malagu. Yes. Um. Patrick Doyle, sorry, I can call him Patrick Doyle because he's a broadcaster. If I don't call him by his name, he'll go and report me. Uh, he, said, he spoke about the uh, trajectory of uh, Father Slattery. Well, you tell us 
the answer to the question she asked about what are we expecting with this lecture? Well, um, once again, I say good morning, viewers. Um, it's going to be a blockbuster event. I thought Packed that was full. only used for movies. Packed full. <laughs> the president is, is a movie maker. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's an event geared towards um, trying to raise uh, funds via an endowment. And um, as a part of the fallout of this endowment scheme, we're looking at um, completing our ongoing hostel building. Uh, it's a 500-bed hostel facility. Wow. Of course, state-of-the-art facilities for students. That is meant to, to complement um, our high flyers and achievers because we refer to our students as high flyers mm. because they fly our flag above the full mast. So we are so proud of their achievements. So we want to do things to also complement their efforts to make them comfortable. And as well, of course, you did mention um, our prowess in sports. Um, maybe one other thing you didn't mention was the fact that we do not just have old boys that um, has given so much in the area of football. We also had people in athletics, you know, Prince Henry Amike, the Olympic hodler. And we were also blessed to have even sports administrators. We can readily, you know, uh, mention the two bomb himself, Paul Bassi, DC, you know, who is um, a CAF recognized and FIFA recognized you know, sports administrator. Um, we are looking in the area of sports to rehabilitating our football pitch, you know, because that is uh, part of the strength of what we offer in Fimbus College. We've tried to balance both academics and sports. And I think we've done that so well in recent times. Results are there, you know, to speak for us. And of course, we also recognize the fact that we have um, indigents, you know, amongst our students, you know, those who for one reason or the other, you know, are unable to sustain, you know, their stay in the college. So part of this endowment will go towards, you know, helping them to, you know, sustain their stay in the college and, you know, finish up on a high. Mm. Yes. So, interestingly, while you're talking sports, you didn't even talk about Nollywood, and your president is a movie maker. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, 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 me, let me add on to what he has spoken about. The lecturer itself, the lecturer is an old boy of St. Finbus College, the very reverend father, Anthony Akinwali, who was the pioneer vice chancellor of the Dominican University in Ibadan. Incidentally, the Dominican University in Ibadan is the first Dominican university on the African continent, and it was birthed by a proud Finberian. He is probably one of the foremost uh, theologians of the Catholic Church globally. He's a member of the, there's this thing called the uh, Magista Theologia. It, it's a big thing in the Catholic circles for intellectuals. It's the intellectual arm of the, and he's one of the very few people who is on the advisory board of that. So he will be delivering the lecture. Uh, the, and the lecture will be on contemporary Nigerian issues, you know, juxtaposing the contemporary issues and, you know, projecting into how they probably, you know, how it will all turn out if the right um, steps are taken. So that, 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 so that's the proud heritage of St. Finbus College. Mm -hmm. We have a rich, rich inventory of alumni who have, who, who have excelled in practically every field of human endeavor. Mm -hmm. And we're bringing all that to play at, the, at this lecture. And um, we have the Irish ambassador as you well know, Father Slattery was Irish, and um, I'd like to say that the Irish legacy in Nigeria, the most tangible and the most uh, significant legacy of the footprint of Irish missionaries in Nigeria would be St. Finbar's College, Akoka, because of our prominence and the rich 
legacy that that institution has bequeathed to Nigeria in terms of manpower development. Yeah. You, we talked about the fact that we have we were the um, first secondary school to, inco to incorporate a technical uh, curriculum. And that has a lot of our high-flying engineers in Nigeria took their seminal knowledge of engineering from St. Philip's College. Mm -hmm. And uh, for that, we're very proud. So uh, it, we, we go beyond uh, <laughs> sports. Mm -hmm. We go well beyond sports. And uh, even in financing. I was, I was protesting on your behalf. Yes, I, <laughs> but what, what's, the, what's the likely um, title of this lecture? Any uh, ideas yet? It, 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 it's, talk, it, it's a contemporary Nigerian issues okay. and how they affect I think the theme is um, retrieving, retrieving and protecting our common humanity. Humanity? Yes. yes. Retrieving and protecting our common humanity. Ooh. Any reason particularly for Which that? Which we seem oh, to be losing gradually. Yeah. Very apt. Even, even if you go by the, next, the, the last two weeks of Nigerian <laughs> contemporary history, you will see that our humanity is fast ebbing. Yeah. And we need to retrieve it. Mm. And so that, that, that's what this is. And as I said, uh, pro, um, Professor, Reverend Father Professor, Professor Akinwale. Anthony Akinwale yes, yes. is a philosopher and he's, he's very, his, his views okay. uh, 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 to be reckoned with. Is he an old boy? He is yes, an old, old boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. 1979 sets. Whoa. That's the year I enter secondary school, Form 1. Anyway, uh, come to you. Uh, Professor, Father. So, give us the details. Venue, date, time. Yes. Um, of course, the event itself is on Monday. And the venue is the Grand Ball. Monday, the 25th of September. Monday, Broadcast. 25th September, Not yes. Monday, 2nd October. Monday, 25th September. Just to be clear. 2023. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the venue is the Grand Ballroom, a co hotel and suites, Victoria and Lagos. Mm. Time is 4 p.m. Mm. Prompt. One of the issues that usually come to me when such um, grand events hold is how we how it is designed to bring on the youths that are the subject of the title of the of the uh, lecture like, what how, how does it encourage young people to be there and what are they going to benefit from uh, from that thing that is cross generational the, the lecture that is cross generational well um, there's a whole lot of benefits you know and that's talking about the youths in particular, um, the professor brings to bear, you know, his um, rich repertoire, you know, of knowledge, uh, going by his, the historical perspective of who he is, you know, he's dealt with um, students and young people, various cadre, having been the vice chancellor in a university, and currently he's, he even serves as um, the deputy vice chancellor at um, Augustine University, you know, Epe. So he's still he's still in tune, you know, with um, uh, youthful. We population. have our students who will be who, students of Saint Thomas College over there, but more than that, it's going to be live streamed oh. on YouTube, Instagram, and all the social media oh, yeah. platforms, <coughs> and. The, and this, and this has been, we've been advertising this on the, on the social media platforms, platforms. for the, the live streaming. So it will be live streamed and we do hope that um, we, we, we have our alumni, our alumni so we have there are at least 10,000 members of the St. Thomas College Old Boys Association and um, we have recruited all of them to be in the chorus party of... <laughs> <laughs> sending out the word so that and their children too. So you are the president of a country of 10,000. <laughs> At least. Okay. 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 Now, um, head of states. <laughs> so just to be to be clear, is there any registration necessary? No, it's actually it's 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 a bit if you on the surface, it's a bit elitist. 
It's going to be at the Grand Ballroom of the Eco Hotel. We're expecting 300 guests, invited guests. Okay. because ah, and, uh, invited. Uh, invited okay. guests. Okay. But we're live streaming in it. so that it, it will, But the guests that we're inviting, you know, we, we, we have snuck in uh, a fundraiser into this event. <laughs> that was, uh, it was done for the purpose of, uh, because we're going to be bringing in distinguished personalities and some of our old boys who have distinguished themselves locally and internationally have also been invited to you know participate in the we want to have an endowment fund for the school uh, uh. most most schools and we, we consider ourselves a legacy school in nigeria schools that were uh, in existence pre-independence Mm, are yeah. regarded as legacy schools and uh, we are probably the youngest of legacy school schools because we were established in 1956 yeah. but we have been, we have consistently punched above our weight and uh, we hold our own against even the schools that have been here for centuries you are in Lagos. 1909 you are in Lagos. You will hold your... You, what, we, what is it? We punch, punch above our You will punch above your weight. You are in Lagos. <laughs> Lagos is the smallest <laughs> size state in the country. And, we punch and above it punches <laughs> above <laughs> its weight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so, so, but, but we, 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 as I said, we're very proud of our... Of our okay, the, the reason I asked that question is because, I mean, just as you said, you have a country of 10,000 people or more and a good number of friends over the years. So how do we identify or discover this? This YouTube link, how will it be published for people to know so that they can join? Any ideas? I, I, I apologize that I, I, I have not armed myself with that particular one because we've been, we've been disseminating it on, um, on social media. Mm. I take responsibility for not <laughs> having it yet. Having it right okay. here, right All now. Right. So mm. I am assuming that in the next, in the same, uh, you know, Publicity, whatever they're gonna, it's gonna be published it is. within the next 28, 24 hours, Certainly. 24, 48 hours, Certainly. so that people can can know about those things ahead. You wanna ask a question? No, no, no. So Saint Fimbers College Memorial Lecture will be coming up on Saint Monday. Saint Father Slattery Memorial Lecture. Oh, <clears throat> powered by Saint Fimbers Colleges. Oh, oh boys. Okay, so okay. we should start afresh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, the very reverend father DJ Slattery Memorial Lecture, yes. powered by St. Fimbers College, Old Boys, Old Boys, Old Boys Association, Association. Yes. will hold on Monday, the 25th of September at 4 p.m. 2023 mm. in the Grand Ballroom of Echo Hotel and Suites at 4 p.m. prompt. And I see that it's going to be a dinner. This event will be streamed on all social media platforms. And it is exclusively it, um, invite Attendance only. is only by invitation. <laughs> so this, Are we being politically correct? You have been correct to a T. Thank you. And um, mm. this broadcast is for your information. Only. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Will the, dinner we also, will the dinner also be live streamed? Um, <laughs> it is rude to show people while they are eating. <laughs> so you shall, you shall be distracted with some other form of visual entertainment. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay, so all we can do is to wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Um, St. Fimbers College, old boys, as well as current students. Because this is a thing it's all of about pride, me. you know, for, and like he said, I mean, St. Fimbers is a legacy college, and it's a very proud one at that. And I am also a proud sister of the president of the Old Boys Association. Ogiame, good to know. So, we wish you all the best. Thank you. Uh, on Monday. And we hope that uh, all goes down well, including the food. By His grace. I'm assuming that this event is only for St. Fimbas. And I am extending, not, not for family I'm members. extending a, presidential, <laughs> a presidential invitation <laughs> to your good self and my darling sister. Yes. Please, be with us. Just saying. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Patrick Doyle, President, St. Fimbers College Old Boys Association, and Mr. Dominic Malagu, St. Fimbers College Chairman of PTA. Thank you. Which is the Parents Teachers Association. Thank you very much for coming to tell us all about this event. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Sunrise will return in just a moment with another interesting conversation. I think we're talking about the junior achievement yeah. when we come back. Still with children and schools. We'll be back.